Kubernetes 1.18 has been released. So I'm curious about, from your perspective or Octrain's perspective, what are some of the major new features that you are excited about? Obviously, in this uh, release, we see a lot of things. Like in, in most uh, previous releases that uh, were pushed from uh, the previous release. So uh, 117 was a release that was attached to KubeCon at the end of the year. A lot of things to get done. And then uh, many uh, new features uh, get pushed to the next release. That that happens often. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, things that we were already expecting uh, before, but uh, we got uh, uh, in this release. And uh, the the things I'm uh, I'm excited about um, have to do um, in, it, with multiple facets of, of Kubernetes. Uh, one is uh, the topology manager, uh, which is a feature that was introduced in alpha before and has uh, moved to beta in, in this release. Topology manager is, is a really interesting uh, use case, the, the high performance, low latency use case uh, coming to Kubernetes being able to uh, associate placement of workloads, not just on a CPU, uh, a certain CPU or a certain device, but actually combining placement of uh, workloads into CPU and devices to get the best uh, latency for those high performance workloads, financial applications, machine learning, things that require uh, very, very low latencies. Uh, another uh, interesting point of emphasis in this uh, release is, is Windows support. So uh, running Kubernetes on Windows nodes has been uh, evolving over uh, the last uh, year. And, and in this release, we see uh, major improvements in the support of both the runtime, the container D uh, in the case of Windows, and uh, storage, so the CSI proxy uh, that allows unprivileged workloads uh, and unvetted um, uh, workloads from uh, accessing or, or performing storage operations uh, on Windows hosts. Uh, so a lot of and a lot of uh, smaller Windows-related features that uh, are either in alpha or beta in in this release. Also, uh, an emphasis on storage. So um, C the, the CSI uh, support for block storage uh, has, is something uh, that has been in the works for, for a while now. And obviously in our area, the security field. So we've seen um, many of the features that uh, Kubernetes supports like service account tokens, and uh, signature uh, or certificate signing uh, being used outside of the cluster. So uh, both the improvements on the, uh, the certificate signing request uh, process uh, and uh, the ability to uh, validate service account tokens from outside of the cluster with an OIC, OIDC, the, the OpenID Connect Discovery API, are, are very interesting uh, as, as a way to demonstrate how Kubernetes capabilities are used uh, more than just for the basic functionality of Kubernetes itself. Um, and the last one uh, is, is the debug um, functionality. So kubectl debug uh, is a new command that takes advantage of uh, ephemeral uh, containers uh, in order to make debugging um, more um, user-friendly in Kubernetes.